and the only supervision artist known in the world is here in San Diego. She has an exhibit here at Liberty Station. She started a painting at 545 and she is just about done. She's giving a glimpse of the world through her eyes coming up. A genetic eye mutation gives a local artist some supervision. She's reportedly the only artist in the world with this type of condition. This morning, she and we actually giving you a glimpse of the world through her eyes. CBS News 8's Alicia Summers is live at Liberty Station with this unique artist, Alicia. Yeah, these paintings are absolutely beautiful. Now you saw what she started at 545 and take a look at it now. This is Conchetta Antico. She has tetrachromacy, which is a genetic eye mutation, which I think is really a superpower. It's a gift. So her eyes have four cones or light receptors instead of the normal three cones like you or I have. And that really allows her to see color wavelengths beyond what a typical human can see, which means she can distinguish colors that most of us cannot. So Conchetta, good morning once again. Good morning. This is beautiful to say the least. I mean, I can't Thank even you. describe how gorgeous it is and you did it in an hour. And look at what she was modeling. The real flowers over there is what she was painting. And so what we were talking earlier, the white in the flowers, yes. I see just white and the leaves are just green, but you see so much more than that. Yes, inside the white, I definitely see there's there's some golds and pinks and greens, um, some, some shadow, there's a little lilac in the shadows. So white, it has so many colors in it right. uh, and uh, that's what I see and when I paint those. And so your condition is called tetrachromacy. Only about 2% of the population have it. You're the only known artist in the world that has tetrachromacy. So tell folks at home what that is all about. Tetrachromacy means I have four receptors in my eyes yeah. as opposed to three. The average vision has three. Mm -hmm. um, and also it is it is a way of um, of uh, resolving color. So the average uh, human can see about a million colors. I can see up to 99 million more. Wow. They're still studying me to determine uh, that that number. But it is a way that uh, everything in the world is amplified for me. There is um, uh, much color uh, in, in everything, in shadows, in light, in the ocean, in rocks, in everything that is in nature. And so I'm able to then portray it as, as having been an artist my entire life. I've painted since I was seven years of age. I teach at a school here in San Diego. And so because I'm resolving colors every day, um, it's sort of like if someone had superior muscle, uh, but they had never run the Olympics, then they would would not be able to know what that uh, potential is. Because of my tetrachromacy gift and because I'm immersed in color every day, I'm able to maximize that potential. So at so. what age and, and when did you realize you were a little different and you saw a little differently? Uh, I think it's been happening my whole life. My mother pointed it out when I was about nine. She said, oh, you're going to be an artist and a teacher. Uh, right through high school, I would uh, be given uh, kudos for my color use for my art. I'd win prizes for that. And then as an adult, I wanted to share it. So I've been teaching, as I said, for a couple of decades now. And you are so sharing it here, not only as a teacher, but as your new exhibit that is displayed here at the Women's Museum of California through the month of September. Yes. It's called Beacons of Beauty. And just take a look around, Jay, if you could show her other paintings. It looks like you love painting peacocks and flowers. And, and what else is it about these paintings that folks can really see when they come out? When they come, I do love to paint birds and wildlife and flowers and oceans um, because when I'm looking there at those things, there is so much color in them. And, and I know that folks will be able to see the extra little surprises that are in these paintings. And that is what my students do tell me that they see and that because I'm able to portray it for them, it helps them to see the beauty of the earth the way it really is. So beautiful. Thank you so much, Conchetta. And if you would like to come out and see all of her beautiful paintings, all you have to do is log on to our website, cbs8.com. We posted a link under the hot button. For now, we'll send it back to you. And what a beautiful gift she has, and we're so lucky that she's able to share it with all of us. Yeah, absolutely. All right, thanks, Alicia.